Wow. And this would have been a nice tunnel here for the train to go through. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're out at the site of the old bridge that I found in episode 99, I believe. And uh, today I want to follow the rail bed here and just kind of walk out uh, farther on and see where it joins up with the uh, current railway today. So it looks really interesting. It's an old rail bed down there and uh, also, in addition to that, I'm still looking for some old buildings I saw on the aerial photography. So hopefully uh, I can find some of those. Anyways, I'm going to plod my way and see what I find. It's not too muddy down here, so that's good. Yikes. I'm going to talk about an old bridge. Wow. It's almost like there's a rail bed here. Yeah. It's got, it still has the two kind of tracks here where the, the rail would have been back in the day. Holy, these things are mammoth. Wow, we. They look even more impressive from down below here. Jeepers. <laughs> you can just imagine, you know, cars or vehicles going overhead here and, uh, and the train going through, like a big old steam train belching out all kinds of uh, smoke. Wow. And this would have been a nice, uh, nice tunnel here for the train to go through. So there seems to be a lot of water here, <laughs> and it's almost impassable. Oh my goodness. So maybe what I'm going to do is uh, is go up and then down a little bit further before I get into the into the gully here. It really doesn't seem like there's a good way to get through there, apart from uh, bushwhacking and hacking my way through all that mess, but it looks pretty dense. There's pillars. These are mammoth. They really made things uh, oversized back in the day. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of some of those blocks. Just crazy big. And I don't think this side here is, is any different. That's, there's a symbol here that I don't know the meaning of. It's been kind of bugging me. In fact, I was searching on the internet looking for what this is, but I still haven't quite figured it out. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment below. I'm sort of thinking it means uh, preserve or something like that. Maybe some kind of historical marker. Don't touch this, it's historical. <laughs> I don't know. A bit confusing. And on this side of the bridge, what I do notice is that there's a, a wall of limestone all the way along here. Like, look at that. So I guess they were concerned that the gully would start to slide in here so they've they've added limestone all the way along it's fantastic so I see somebody has put a uh, a bridge in place here 
that's awesome. And it looks like this section of the rail bed is actually relatively free of uh, fallen trees. Perfect. So this is quite amazing. There's this limestone wall goes from the bridge, which is way back there, and it just keeps coming along the gully here. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So if you can imagine, this uh, wall is 140 years old, at least. That's crazy. And it still looks like it's as good as it was the day it was put in. Looks fantastic. Wow. Yeah, this wall just continues on. It's amazing. And then it looks like it stops kind of abruptly right here. Not sure what's going on here exactly. This uh, wall kind of continues on and holds back the gully until we get to here and then it uh, stops suddenly. And uh, it looks like there's some limestone on this side, on the railbed side. So not sure of the rationale for that. So you can you can clearly see the the old rail bed here as it goes through the forest. Probably this went out of service around 1900, I would think. From what I understand, the, the Blue Ghost Tunnel wasn't in service for more than a few years before they realized that they needed more capacity, so they needed uh, two tracks. Uh, so that's around the time that they built uh, the bridge the old railway bridge and so that was a double track bridge and then this fell into disservice after that so maybe 1900 this went out of service so for the past 120 years this rail bed has uh, been dormant here but still the walls on the side of this uh, embankment here they're still in great shape considering they've been sitting here for 140 years plus. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't see any buildings or anything out here that remotely resembles a building. There's a lot of trees down across the rail bed here, that's for sure. So I'm gonna see if I can wander down to the end here, and perhaps get a glimpse of where it used to tie into the existing rail line. Because it didn't seem to be straight back in the day. It seemed to come across the canal and then kind of curve into the tunnel here and then curve back to the main line. It's kind of strange the way that looks today. Uh, maybe it was straighter, I'm not sure. Wow. Look at the stone all the way along here. That's crazy. Well, some of it's moved, but most of it hasn't. A lot of water down here. I can imagine that in the summertime, this isn't all that great to walk through because of all the water. Probably, probably need gum boots. Wow, that's something. You can just see all the stone still here. Oh, dear. Looks like I'm running out of train bed here. 
Looks like they've pushed a bunch of dirt on the end of it here. Hmm. So, is it possible to get up there? It's not looking like we have a trail up here. Maybe on the other side. So it looks like this rail bed comes to kind of an abrupt end down there. It looks like they put a big pile of dirt on the end of the rail bed here. Not sure why exactly. We must be fairly close to the existing railway. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you can add any more information about the old railway bit here and, and its history, please add a comment below. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.